Well, without further ado, let's bring on the bells. <laughs> You're the top, you're the Louvre Museum. You're a melody from a symphony by Strauss. You're a Bendel bonnet, a Shakespeare sonnet, you're Mickey Mouse. You're They're sending you out on that? Yeah, and Dash has never been one for understatement, so. Elisa, I'm a worthless check, a total wreck, a flop. Just thought I'd uh, I wish you luck. You know what, Dad? You can cut the crap. Excuse me? Don't act like you give a monkey's ass about my award. Because I know you're only here to do a piece for Harry's campaign because it's always about him. After every line, I feel divine down my spine. Now gifted humans like Vincent humans, I think that your song is bad. But I got a notion, I'll second the motion, and this is what I'm going to add. George, what are you talking about? No reporter from Birmingham decides to come down to cover Bluebell's Man of the Year award for no reason. You're Napoleon Brandy. You're the purple light of a summer night in Spain. You're the National Gallery Carposarius and the fame. You're sublime. And I must have been some kind of idiot to think that you would come down here for something that I cared about without having some kind of agenda. Now I'm here. I'm trying to make up for what I did. So give me the benefit of the doubt. Why should I? So you can use me again? So you can use my fiance? To be honest with you, I don't even know why I invited you here. I don't even know because you're not going to change, because you are never going to change, and because you are the most selfish person I've ever met, and I'm oh, done. Don't say that. We're done, Dad. Dad. I'm a toy balloon that's faded soon to pop. But if baby, I'm the bottom, you're the top. Mr. George Tucker.